Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Link. The Link chart is in this. Um, the Link chart is in this correction, still caught in this correction. Apparently, yeah, as you can see, we haven't really managed to break out above the range. I'm not. I would not stress too much about this. Let's say, yeah, I wouldn't stretch too much about the micro patterns and the micro count and so on because the micro count um, is likely going to shift in these corrective patterns. But it is important to understand where the key support levels are. And we have two support levels that really matter, depending on which scenario we're talking about. We have currently one bullish scenario, which is based on the idea that a larger one two setup could be unfolding. And then as long as we're holding the $8.56 level, a third wave rally could begin from here. Yeah, But I have no evidence that the third wave has started already. It is possible that we're now caught in maybe the C wave of this wave two. For example, wave one, A, somehow here a B wave, and then we come down in wave C. And then from there we could go up. I have no precise wave count for it. I could give you probably five. So I'm, I'm leaving it away completely. Whether this is some kind of a B wave triangle here or a WXY, it doesn't matter. What matters is do the bulls turn up in this scenario before we break below $8.56? That's really the main question here. And the other level is the $10.85 level. It's the overhead breakout point, I would say. Any break above $10.85 could be an indication that a low has formed and that we're actually rallying in the third wave to the upside. This is important because um, we need some kind of a breakout of this local range. For now, we're just moving up and down without clear direction. And there is the other scenario is a more directly bullish scenario, you could say, in which we are dealing with a diagonal pattern similar to Bitcoin where we say we already had a 1-2 setup here completed. And this is some kind of an A wave. Again, m maybe a B wave still unfolding. And as long as we are holding above the $9.65 level, we could watch for a more accelerated bullish scenario here in a diagonal pattern in which we're now in wave B of three already. But as I said, the market should ideally avoid a break below $9.65. I think this scenario has a chance. It is just not a scenario I am trusting. I don't trust any of these because this is very ambiguous price action. It looks very corrective. Um, and I would just, yes, we can watch for higher prices. I'm tracking it. But until we get these five waves to the upside, five waves that reach round about $14, $15, I would treat this chart as if it could fall from the sky. Yeah? Um, meaning that don't be surprised if support breaks because we need those five waves of the larger degree to really confirm that a substantial low formed on the 5th of August. And then this could be a wave one and we will add the next support zone for wave two. This here is all super speculative. More price action is needed to confirm a bullish outcome. Um, but I'm tracking it. Okay, we'll, we'll give the bulls the chance. But also on the Bitcoin chart, I've highlighted to you, I don't really trust the patterns there at the moment. They are very, very fragile. So your, your trade management needs to needs to consider this. Yeah, that's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.